These rare photos will transport you to a time when bell bottoms, flower power, and disco were all the rage. Natalie Wood's iconic style and effortlessly cool and chic look made her an icon of the 70s. At 17, Steve Martin was already a master banjo player, having started at five and developed a unique style that combined traditional bluegrass with jazz, folk, and classical music. He quickly gained a reputation as a talented musician, captivating audiences with his signature wild hair and infectious smile. In 1986, Anthony Bourdain was a young chef living in New York City, with dreams of becoming one of the most renowned chefs in the world. In 1968, two British women, Diana Rigg and Helen Mirren, were making waves in the entertainment industry. Diana starred in The Avengers, while Helen appeared in Age of Consent, marking the start of their successful careers. Dana Delaney's portrayal of Colleen McMurphy on the iconic TV series, China Beach, was a career-defining role for the actress, as viewers tuned in each week to follow the story of this courageous and determined nurse stationed at an evacuation hospital during the Vietnam War. In 1976, David Bowie and Iggy Pop were arrested for marijuana possession, and a mugshot captured Bowie's signature style with long hair and heavy eyeliner, marking the beginning of a collaboration that would shape popular music for decades. Donna Summer's electrifying performance at Studio 54 in New York City is remembered fondly by those who were lucky enough to witness it. Back in 1956, a young Elvis Presley was at the height of cool with his new Harley Davidson motorcycle, turning heads and embodying the spirit of youth and rebellion. In 1969, Elvis Presley and Rodney Dangerfield met for the first time in Las Vegas, sharing stories and laughing together. Sally Field's performance in the 1978 classic, Hooper, is iconic, as she stars as Gwen Doyle, a former stunt woman who comes out of retirement to help an aging stuntman complete one last daring feat. In 1971, Frank Zappa was at home with his parents and he loved the color purple. He was a fan of its vibrancy and energy, often wearing it in his clothing and decorating his room with it. As a kid growing up in Baltimore, Maryland, he had an affinity for this bold hue that made him stand out from his peers. To honor his memory, fans have adopted the color as part of their own wardrobe and style to celebrate the legendary musician's life. From concert t-shirts to hats, you can find people proudly sporting something purple as a tribute to one of rock music's most influential artists. During the 1970s, David Cassidy and Susan Day from the Partridge family were adored by fans worldwide for their iconic duets and on-screen chemistry. The cast of the 1960s TV series, Doctari, included Marshall Thompson as Dr. Marsh Tracy and Cheryl Miller as his daughter Paula, along with Clarence the Cross-Eyed Lion and Judy the Chimp.
In 1965, the entrance to Disneyland looked different and parking was only 25 cents. Visitors could park their cars directly in front of the park entrance, making it easy to enter and exit the park. In the 1970s, Susan Sarandon had a unique style and effortless beauty that made her stand out as an iconic actress. The Twilight Zone, hosted by the iconic Rod Sorling, was a staple of American television from 1958 to 1964. Viewers were immediately captivated by its unique blend of science fiction, horror, and fantasy. Each episode had something new and exciting in store for audiences, as they explored stories that often took unexpected turns into the unknown. It's no wonder why The Twilight Zone has become such an enduring classic, with its clever writing and suspenseful plot lines, it continues to thrill viewers today just as it did back then. The cast of The Munsters celebrated their newfound fame at Marineland of the Pacific Carnival in Los Angeles in 1965. They enjoyed rides, shows, and even got to meet some dolphins, creating a lasting memory of their time spent there. At the age of 19 in 1975, Carrie Fisher had just completed her role as Princess Leia in the first Star Wars movie and was gaining popularity in Hollywood. Her spirited personality and intelligence made her a fan favorite and earned her respect from her colleagues. The set of Mel Brooks' 1987 comedy-slash-parody film, Spaceballs, was a place of unbridled creativity and hilarity, bringing together three comedic geniuses, Bill Pullman, Rick Moranis, and the legendary Mel Brooks himself, to create a timeless classic enjoyed by generations. The trio worked tirelessly to bring their vision for this movie to life, with each actor bringing something unique to the table. During the filming of The Good, The Bad and The Ugly, in 1966, Clint Eastwood and Eli Wallach portrayed their iconic characters with undeniable chemistry, leaving an indelible mark on film history. In 1955, James Dean made a lasting impression on popular culture with his rebellious attitude, signature style, and starring roles in three major films. Dolly Parton and Mick Jagger embraced backstage after one of her concerts in 1977, showcasing the spirit of the 70s. In the 1970s, a trip to the grocery store was a family affair, piling into the station wagon and heading to the nearest supermarket, grabbing a cart and navigating the aisles filled with brightly colored packaging and tempting treats. This 1969 Dodge Charger is a classic piece of Americana, with its sleek lines, powerful engine, and signature grille, it's easy to see why this model was so popular with drivers at the time. The interior features luxurious materials like leather seats and wood grain trim, giving it a timeless look and feel, and it's sure to turn heads wherever you go. Gordy Howe and Wayne Gretzky, hockey legends in 1972, were known for their skillful stick handling, powerful shots, and passion for the game. In 1952, Ingrid Bergman is in Italy with her twin daughters Isabella and Isada, 
looking as beautiful as ever with a glowing smile on her face while she holds her two little girls close. Jimi Hendrix, a rock and roll icon, changed the music world in 1968 with his iconic performance at Woodstock and groundbreaking albums. In 1972, Karen Carpenter was a musical force with the release of A Song For You and hit single, Top of the World. She made history as one of the first female soloists to perform at Carnegie Hall, and her music continues to inspire generations of musicians today. Kevin Klein, an American actor, comedian, and singer, achieved a career breakthrough with his role in the 1988 film A Fish Called Wanda, earning him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Kim Basinger's portrayal of Vicki Vale in the 1989 film Batman is a performance that will live on forever. As Bruce Wayne's love interest, she brought an air of sophistication and beauty to the role. She was able to capture the essence of Vicki Vale perfectly, from her poise and elegance to her determination and strength. Her chemistry with Michael Keaton as Batman was palpable, and their scenes together were some of the most memorable moments in the movie. Kim Basinger has been acting since 1976 when she made her debut in Hard Country, and this role solidified her place among Hollywood's elite. Liza Minnelli and her mother, Judy Garland, looked stunning as they headed to the set to film In the Good Old Summer Time in 1949. Both wearing matching summer dresses, Liza with her Shirley Temple curls and Judy with her trademark red hair, they looked like two peas in a pod. It was an iconic moment for both actresses, Liza had just turned four years old, and it marked her first ever movie appearance alongside her legendary mom. The pair went on to star in many more films together, but this one will always be remembered as the start of something special between them. In 1976, Linda Carter competed in ABC's Battle of the Network Stars, showcasing her athleticism and charm against Hollywood's biggest stars, solidifying her as an icon for generations to come. In 1953, Marilyn Monroe was at the height of her career, captivating audiences with her beauty and charm. She had just finished filming Gentlemen Prefer Blondes and was about to start shooting for How to Marry a Millionaire, solidifying her status as an iconic figure in Hollywood. In 1980, Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci starred in Martin Scorsese's Raging Bull, solidifying their place in Hollywood history. De Niro won an Academy Award for his role as Jake LaMotta. The cast of Taxi in 1980 included Danny DeVito, Judd Hirsch, Tony Danza, Marilou Henner, Christopher Lloyd, and Jeff Conaway. Tina Turner took the stage at Basin Street West in San Francisco in 1969, electrifying the crowd with her powerful voice and charismatic presence. The live recording of Ike and Tina Turner's album, In Person, captured an unforgettable moment that showcased Tina Turner's iconic status as one of the most influential artists of all time. Van Williams and Bruce Lee starred in 1966 TV series, The Green Hornet, where they fought crime as a dynamic duo.
During the 1970s, groovy shag carpet was a popular choice for bathrooms, providing a cozy and luxurious feel with endless color options. It was seen as a sign of wealth and sophistication. In 1976, a young Sam Elliott was featured in Teen Beat magazine, showcasing his potential as a future Hollywood leading man. With his signature mustache and deep voice, he has continued to charm audiences with his performances. This quote became a popular catchphrase and is still used today to express the idea that life is full of unexpected challenges and surprises. Diana Ross was a trailblazer in the music industry, releasing hit after hit in 1975 as the lead singer of The Supremes and becoming the first female artist to launch her own record label. Her solo career took off as well, with her album, Diana Ross, reaching platinum status and selling over 2 million copies worldwide. In 1976, the world was captivated by a battle of epic proportions, Muhammad Ali vs. Andre the Giant. Nichelle Nichols made history in 1973 as the first African-American woman to play a major role in a television series, inspiring generations of viewers. Cheryl Ladd, with her iconic blonde hair and bright smile, quickly became an icon of the 1970s with her unique sense of style, often seen wearing a Star Wars t-shirt long before the franchise had become popular. Kids in the 1970s proudly carried their colorful lunchboxes featuring iconic characters like the Smurfs, Scooby-Doo, and the Flintstones, filled with childhood memories that will last a lifetime. Michael J. Fox's portrayal of Marty McFly in the 1985 classic, Back to the Future, is a legendary moment in film history, with his electric guitar playing, wild hair, and laid-back attitude making him an overnight star. The drive-in movie theater was a nostalgic experience for many in the 1950s and 1960s, an essential part of childhood, piling into the car with family or friends and bringing along the special window tray for snacks. In 1958, a young Farrakh Bolsara was awarded the Junior All-Rounder Trophy at his school in Bombay, little did anyone know that this 12-year-old boy would go on to become one of the most iconic and beloved musical artists of all time, Freddie Mercury. Christy Brinkley was photographed in the Seychelles for a Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue in 1979, marking the start of her illustrious modeling career. Kiefer Sutherland rose to fame with his role as David in the 1987 movie The Lost Boys, and his performance made him an instant star in Hollywood. Shelley Duvall and Ringo Starr were a power couple in 1978 after meeting on the set of Ringo. Their short-lived romance was filled with laughter, joy, and plenty of music as they traveled the world together. The Bee Gees, known for their disco hits, 
began their musical journey in Manchester, England, with the encouragement of their musician father, performing locally at a young age. Today, we celebrate the 75th birthday of music icon Joni Mitchell, from her beginnings in Alberta, Canada to her Grammy-winning career, she has inspired generations with her unique and timeless sound. In 1955, James Dean signed autographs for his fans, showing off his signature smirk and iconic style. 